All right, welcome back. Now we've made our Stewie, we've got him bone rigged and everything. So now we're going to show you how to animate him and use the animation thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make Stewie walk across the uh, screen here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move this to the first frame. And we're going to grab the whole Stewie and we're going to press 1 or, you know, the translate layer. And since we have it's Stewie completely selected, we're going to move him completely out of the screen here so that he starts right there. And we're going to say it's going to take him about five seconds to walk all the way across the screen. So we're going to move to five seconds, and we're going to move Stewie off to this side of the screen. Okay, so within five seconds, Stewie is going to walk clear across the screen. And we only want this to be a five second clip, so we're going to go from frame zero to frame 120 and hit enter. And you can see it changes that blue highlight there. So that if we hit play, you know, Stewie's going to slowly move right across the screen there. Okay, but you know, people don't just float. He needs some movement in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to here, back to the very first frame. And as Stewie walks, we're going to, you know, go half a second, and then we're going to move this leg from here to here, and move this leg from here to here. And as you can see, there's a little issue with his foot there, but that's just something we can fix and tweak later. And then he's going to go one more second, and his legs are going to switch positions. So this one's going to go forward, and that one's going to go back. Okay. So that's how Stewie takes a step. And we're going to make... There. Okay, so what we're going to do is... We're, then we're going to do is we're going to highlight these four keyframes, or six keyframes, which is his steps. We're going to hit Copy. Then we're going to go to here. And we're going to Paste. And yeah, as you can see, Stewie continues to walk. And we're gonna go here and paste some more. We're gonna go here and paste a couple more, which is gonna get us to the five seconds. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning and let's play that and see how Stewie walks. Okay, so there he's got some leg movement. So let's get him to swing his arms a little bit while he's uh, walking. So we're going to go to one second here, and we're going to click these bones, and we're going to swing this arm back and this arm out. We're going to go to two seconds, and we're going to swing this arm out and this arm back. And so now that one needs to go back, and this one goes out. And then here, and we're going to go like that. So now Stewie's got some arm swinging while he's walking. A little choppy, and you, you can work on that. And make it work the way you want. Okay, so now let's give him some head movement. We're going to go to one second, and we're going to tip his... Uh-oh, we got an issue with the bone. Okay, so what we need to go, go back to frame zero. And as you can see, Stewie's head's not moving with the bone. So let's go back into here, which is not a big thing. Let's go to the head layer, bind layer to bone. Okay, and I know why that happens, because I changed his head around between the last video and this one, so that, you know, we can uh, turn Stewie's head. He has a left view and a right view. So and it broke the binding with the bone, which is no big deal. Easy to fix. Okay, so go back to the bone layer, where all of our animation's at. We're going to go to one second. I want to tip his head forward a little bit. We're going to go here, two seconds, we'll tip it back a little bit. Three seconds, tip it forward. Four seconds, tip it back. And there we go. And as you can see, you know, it fills in the gaps between, you know, and shows Stewie kind of twitching his head while he walks. <coughs> so, let's go back to frame zero. And that's basically how you can make Stewie walk.
Now if we want to give him an eye blink here at about two seconds, we're going to go like two frames before and we're going to make Stewie blink. So we can go into here, go into our head, drop that down, and remember where we made the eyebrows? Or not the eyebrows, the eyelids. Okay, so now we're going to put some animation into that. So we're going to move the layers. We're going to bring this. All right. um, yeah, okay, we can't do layers because it's going to move them all. So let's just undo that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to grab these points. Grab these points. And then we're going to translate them down. And then we're going to translate these ones up. Back up to here. And we're going to translate these ones up. And translate those ones down. So that it looks like his eyes are closed. Okay, but as you can see, you know, it goes from his eyes being open as he slowly closes his eyes, but we don't want him to slowly close his eyes, we want him to blink. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, let's just grab the layer and uh, do that. Now his eyes, okay, his eyes are still blinking, so okay, what we need to do is we need to transmute the four points from each eyelid there we go. And then we need to grab those, and we're just going to move those keyframes right before the blank. That way his eyes stay open all the way until he gets there, and then boop, there they go closed. Boop. Okay, and then we need them open again, right? So what we need to do is we need to grab the keyframes from his eyes that are open, copy those, go to where we want him to open them back up, and paste. And now Stewie blinks. And if we want him to blink twice, all we have to do is copy these keyframes from the eyes closed and paste those there. And then copy those from his eyes open and paste those there. Now he blinks twice. Just that simple. And like I was telling you before, with the way we do the pupils, we can move that layer around and have Stewie look down a little bit. And when he gets to here, we can have him look back. And then by the time he gets to the four seconds, we want him looking back forward so he knows where he's walking. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning and watch Stewie walk across the screen here. And there's the blink. Okay, the blink goes kind of fast. So what we can do is we can go back in here, go back into the eyelids, and we can space these out a little more. So that it'll slow his eye blink down. So that you see it a little more. There we go. And that's basically how you can animate Stewie. And what we'll do is we'll render this one out. And then I'll also upload that so you can see the actual rendered animation. And to do that, well, we'll just make another video of that. So thanks for watching. Check out the next video of the actual rendered out Stewie.